Hey guys, AJ here. I also have Dave Aaron Dash here, who is our AR and VR SME. As promised, I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about the HoloLens. We got ours in yesterday, and honestly, this is a really exciting device to have. I talked before about some of the key use cases in field force where smart glasses can help. Specifically, we're talking about remote expert, visual work procedures, being able to telestrate over uh, the worker's field of view. And what we found is in about five minutes, we were able to accomplish all of these. And, you know, I've been skeptical about these devices. Uh, there's a number of smart glasses off that have its pros and cons, but honestly, this one, I haven't been this excited for a while. I want Dave to talk a little bit about what he sees from the development and value provisioning side. Right, thanks AJ. Uh, yeah, like AJ, I was also skeptical. Um, I mean, the first thing I heard was that the field of view was fairly small, and, and it is. It's like holding a small cell phone about that far from your face. But honestly, within a few minutes, you don't even notice it anymore because the just the involuntary movements of your head create a perceptual field that's much larger, and the tracking is so solid, and the image is so crisp that you trust that what was there when you looked at it is still there when you look away and look back again. So your mind fills it in and you really don't mind it so much, you know? So the, the, the narrow field of view so far has been the only thing, I can't say it was disappointing because I was expecting it, but that I've seen as something that they need room for improvement on, except I don't know, maybe wait, you know, this is as bad as it was ever gonna get. And it's still completely awesome within a few minutes like AJ said, we were we were video skyping with 3D telestration in both directions. Um, you can post up web pages with pertinent content, and if they're hooked up to the IoT, you're turning lights on and off just by clicking your fingers in the air like this. You can talk to it. And now I use Unity all the time, and I was able to run through their tutorials, and they just work. The APIs are so powerful. If you want voice commands, you just type it. You know, in English, what you want it to recognize and give it a command to execute, and it does. So, uh, and you know, to be able to hook up spatialized audio and collide with the real world and do all these things, it's just simply there. I mean, they've really got it right this time, out of the box. Yeah, this is, this is great. For those who haven't seen it, I'll hold it up to the camera. This is the developer kit, and this is a well-made device. I really can't wait to A, get more of these, and yeah. B, for this to really get into production mode. So quick overview, we'll be doing more of these as time goes on, and I'll be putting links for Dave's contact information under this video. And yeah, stay tuned. This is really, this is gonna be new and exciting. Yeah, I, my job changed. In the last 24 hours, my job description, I can't say it's much different, but Boy, I tell you, it raised the bar for what we do here. Um, <laughs> it's as bad as it's ever going to get. Um, it's only going to get better. Oh so, my God. I mean, it's like I'm so optimistic about things now. It's just amazing yeah. what we what we're able to accomplish thanks to this thing. So, we'll have more information soon, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, AJ. I wanted to thank you for checking out my video blog. If you liked what you see, feel free to check out other videos on my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Twitter or subscribe to my blog. I put the links below. I look forward to hearing from you guys.